computative ELISA. Computative ELISA is used to determine the concentration of antigen or antibodies in a particular sample. Let us discuss how a technique or test used to determine the concentration of antibodies in a particular sample. Suppose we have the determine the concentration of anti A antibodies from a serum sample that is antibodies specifically bind to the A antigen. For this, we will require A antigen in this case means you must have the antigen specific to the antibodies whose concentration is to be determined. For example, you uh, you determine the concentration of uh, HIV antibodies from a sample. You must have HIV antigen with you. Second and the most important thing that you must have is the enzyme linked anti A antibodies. This antibody is also bind to the A antigen like the antibody which are present in the sample. But this antibody is coupled to the enzyme. The enzyme can be horse radish peroxidase, beta galactosidase or alkaline phosphatase. All this enzyme are chromogenic substrate. For example, TMB that is tetramethylbenzene which are which which is substrate of horse radish peroxidase gives blue color when converted into the product. This intensity can be determined by the spectrophotic method. In the first step, a micro tidal veil is coated with the A antigen like this. The coating is mediated with the help of coating buffer. After this, the sample containing anti A antibody whose concentration is to be determined and a fixed amount of enzyme linked anti A antibody added to the veil. This two type of antibody will compete with each other to bind the antigen present in the well. Now you might think which type of antibody is going to win the competition where well, the antibody with the greater concentration win the competition. Now we don't know which kind of antibodies concentration is more. Let us assume both the situation. If the concentration of antibodies from the sample is more than enzyme linked antibodies as in this case, the antibody will occupy most of antigen of the well. On the other hand, very few enzyme linked antibodies will bind to the antigen but the condition is reversed as in this case most of antigen will be occupied by the enzyme linked antibodies after, the, after this the well is was to remove the unbound antibodies this type is followed by the editing of chromogenic substrate and incubation for a fixed time of period after incubation the reaction is stopped by editing strong acid now during the incubation the enzyme concentration to the enzyme linked antibody will convert the substrate into colorful product now if the number of enzyme linked antibodies are less in the well in this case less product will form absorbance uh, value will be less and in the second case enzyme linked antibodies are more more product will be formed and more therefore absorbance value will also be more so in short if the absorbance of the product is less concentration of antibodies in the sample is more and if the absorbance is more the concentration of antibodies in the sample is less the actual concentration of antibodies present in the sample can be determined by extrapolating the value of absorbance on the stnip graph like like this so in this way the Competitive ELISA is used to determine the concentration of antibodies. Exactly reverse method is used to determine the concentration of antigen.